You are hereby advised that the tips, tactics, stunts, and tricks displayed on our videos are performed by professionals in controlled environments such as closed ranges. Do not attempt to duplicate, recreate, or perform any of these at home, as personal injury or property damage may result. The producer of this video is not responsible for any such injury or damage. Okay, talking about the gate. This number, left to right, the 26 kilonewton for this particular carabiner, is only valid if this gate is shut. Okay, this very slick carabiner from Rock Exotica automatically closes itself. We'll cover that in a second. But let's take, for instance, this particular carabiner. Now let's go. Let's go with the Rock one because we like these. The Rock Exotica carabiner here. This one actually is rated 29 kilonewtons along the major axis right here. So it's a little bit stronger than the other one we showed. More or less 5,000 pounds. However, that's only if this gate is locked, okay? What that means, you can see there, the gate is wide open. It doesn't shut. That's not gonna get you your 29 kilonewtons. To get the 29 kilonewtons, this screw gate needs to be closed and completely screwed. At this point, your 29 kilonewtons is gonna be valid, okay? So again, gate open, bad. Gate closed, strong. And you can see there on rock what they like to do. They put a little skull and crossbones on their carabiner gate there. So if you see a skull and crossbones on a rock carabiner, it's not ready. But if you cover those up with your screw gate, you're good to go. So back to our original carabiners. These little guys, no information on the spine. Sometimes with these, you'll see not for climbing. These will actually break at about 100 pounds, more or less. So don't put your life on these. Don't put anything you care about hanging from that. You know, same thing with these, these big ones you get from Harbor Freight for a dollar. A lot of the guys use these to carry their ear pro and whatnot. You know, you'll see right there, you might not be able to see it because it's black, it says not for climbing. We're not going to hang on this. We're not going to put anything of value. You know, if you want to put your expensive Peltor set on there, that's fine, but I wouldn't put myself on there. <clears throat> Rest of the carabiners. We'll talk a little bit more about gates. So we talked about the screw gate here, okay? It's a screw gate because you screw it shut. There's different types of gate mechanisms now, which are really cool. There's, there's quick locks, there's tri locks, there's all sorts of locks to help you automatically close the gate. For instance, this aluminum carabiner here from Omega Pacific. This is an Omega Pacific J quick lock, very good carabiner. It's called a quick lock because there's no screw mechanism. You twist and drop. It's a two, two stage release mechanism. And what's nice about it is once you twist and unlock it, when you let go, it automatically locks. Very slick. The problem with these, this being a quick lock, okay? I'm using this in my system. I throw it in my system, clip it in, let it go, it's locked. Okay, I'm getting my full strength, that's great. Strong carabiner. But what inevitably happens with rope systems, they start to move, okay? They'll start to twist, you know? Or for instance, maybe in a rush, I clipped it in and put it like this. The problem with the quick locks, and I've used this carabiner in rescue situations, I've put my life on it, I like them. However, this could happen. If this is on the ground and this twists, you might not be able to see it from that direction. But the way this lock works, if something were to rub against it, it'll pop that gate and you'll lose a lot of the strength of the carabiner, okay? So be mindful of quick locks. They're good, they're handy to have, they're fast, but you gotta be a little bit careful. What I like and what I recommend is the Rock Exotica Orca Tri-Lock, okay? It's a tri-lock because it's a three-stage locking mechanism, okay? This particular carabiner, it's not a twist open, it's not a screw, it's three stages. You'll watch here, it's gotta go up, twist, and then down, okay? And then once you let it go, it's locked. Can't rub against it, can't push on it, it's gonna stay closed the whole time. Now, with the tri-locks, what a lot of guys complain about, rope ask you, well, it's, it's a tri-lock mechanism, how am I supposed to do that with one hand? If you're hanging from a rope or doing something, how are you gonna manipulate this particular carabiner with one hand? Valid point. The nice thing about that is you got this big giant meat suit you can use here as leverage to get this open. So what we'll do is if we're hanging one hand, maybe we have our rappel device locked up, whatever we're doing, if we can only get to this carabiner with one hand, we can take it, get our fingers there, use our meat suit to get it open. And again, both sides, okay? With your carabiners, you wanna make sure that you're ambidextrous with it, just like your rifle or any kind of other piece of gear you're using. You gotta be able to use both hands, okay? The quick lock, same thing. Got to be able to manipulate them both hands without looking, okay? As we go into knots, one of the things we like to teach the students is people always ask, okay, at what point am I comfortable with my gear? At what point do I have this knot? Can I consider that I have this knot mastered? At what point am I good? 
And we always tell our students, if you can manipulate that piece of gear, or if you can tie that knot in the shower, blindfolded with the radio full blast, and your spouse yelling at you, probably have a good understanding of how that stuff works. Zert is a worldwide membership-based organization that uses zombie as a metaphor for any natural or man-made disaster that could occur in our lifetime. Your zombie could be hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, a deadly force encounter, or civil unrest. Zert is about being prepared, trained, and most importantly, armed with the proper mindset to see you and your family through to safety. Zert is not just an organization. It's a lifestyle. ZertNation.com